And I think you're absolutely right. As soon as, soon as we start pointing our fingers towards the ball, that's when things can go wrong. Um, and that's how a lot of injuries are are created by getting hit on the end of the fingers. Um, it's a good question. I so I was just talking about that that one handed drill up by our up by our shoulder, especially to the spinners. And you know, even then, we're trying to sort of keep our fingers down, so to speak, where they our, our fingers are ended up sort of pointing more towards the offside. But I think the the main thing is maintaining that presentation and keeping our hand both of our palms facing the ball and i think as as much as you can drill it as soon as you get to a game it becomes a different a different beast you know your your job when you're playing a uh you know a club fixture or an international fixture is to catch the ball and if your brain suddenly goes right it's you know chest high boom stood up fingers up but you've caught it it's absolutely fine um i think a, a lot of times as well if i'm stood up to the stumps against a seamer if the ball's bouncing up to my sort of you know chest neck height and i'm but i'm in my set position and i all i have to do is put my fingers up and catch it there i'd probably much rather do that because it means that it means that i don't actually have to move as much i can still watch it but i'm going from there to there which seems like a bit of a win rather than having to sort of raise my whole body up in order to catch that ball. So it's, a, yeah, it's, it's one of those, I think you'll find that whilst we probably try and try and coach to keep fingers down, maybe a little bit more than going fingers up when we're stood up to the sumps, for example, um, when it comes to a game, it's all about how big can our hand presentation be? And if it, if it means that our movements can be slightly more efficient with our fingers up and our, and our both of our hands pointing towards the ball, then so be it. 